Hello and welcome. This is Jinlata Bhattrai from Single World News. Shubhdeep Singh Sidhu, known professionally as Sidhu Musewala, was an Indian rapper, singer and songwriter. He was born on June 11, 1993 in the village of Musa in the Mansa district of Punjab, India. Musewala admired and was influenced by rapper Tupac Shakur. He started listening to hip-hop music as a student in 6th grade and trained in music from Harvinder Bittu in Ludhiana. According to statements he made while campaigning, he chose Sidhu Musewala for his stage name as a tribute to his home village of Musa. After graduation, Musewala moved to Brampton, Ontario, Canada as an international student. While living there, he studied at Humber College. Unfortunately, Sidhu Musewala was involved in a controversial incident in May 2021 when he was accused of promoting violence and glorifying gun culture in one of his songs. The song titled Sanju allegedly referenced a real-life gangster and criminal, which caused a public uproar and led to widespread criticism of the singer. As a result of the controversy, Sidhu Musewala was arrested by the Punjab police and charged with various offences, including promoting violence, carrying illegal firearms and violating COVID-19 protocols. He was subsequently released on bail but continues to face legal action in the case. He began his music career in 2016 with the release of his debut song, License, which became a quick hit and established him as a rising star in the Punjabi music scene. He went on to release several more successful singles and albums including So High, Ishq Da Uda Adda, Warning Shots and Snitches Get Snitches. In addition to his music career, Sidhu Musewala also appeared in a few Punjabi films including Yes I Am Student and Teri Meri Jodi. He was known for his distinctive voice, sharp lyrics and charismatic stage presence which made him a fan favorite among Punjabi music lovers. It was revealed that he had been receiving death threats from gangsters for extortion purposes. The incident led to protest and an investigation by the Punjab chief minister. Police found bullets from AN-94 Russian assault rifle and a pistol at the scene and several suspects were detained including Ankit Sirsa and Deepak Mundi who were allegedly involved in the killing. Musewala was cremated in his ancestral village on 31 May and a bhog ceremony was held on 8 June. Two suspected gangsters, Manpreet Mannu and Jagroop Rupa, were later killed by the Punjab police in July 2022. His autopsy was carried out by five doctors and the event was videographed. According to post-mortem reports, Musewala's body received 19 bullet injuries and he died in 15 minutes after getting shot due to gunshot wounds. His last riots were performed on his farmland. Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwat Man condemned the murder. Calling Musewala a cultural icon of Punjab, he expressed shock and grief on his death and condoled the aggrieved family. Gary Sindhu released a tribute song Jigar Da Tota dedicated to Sidhu. On 5 June, two murals in California, USA were made in tribute of Sidhu Musewala. Rapper Bohemia also visited it and broke down in tears after an emotional tribute. On 17 June, Canadian rapper Drake played two of Musewala's singles 295 and G-Shit from Muse Tape in remembrance on his debut radio show called Table for One on Sound 42. On 25 July, Park Literally Society honored Musewala with Varisha International Award. On 3 December 2021, Musewala joined the Indian National Congress to contest the 2022 Punjab Legislative Assembly election. Nazar Singh Manshahia, the Congress MLA from Mansa, revolted and opposed Musewala's candidacy. Obtaining only 20.52% votes from Mansa constituency, Musewala lost to Aam Admi's party's Vijay Singla by a margin of 63,323 votes. 188 of the Penal Indian Code was filed against Musewala for his violation of the Election Code of Conduct. He had held a door-to-door -door campaign in the Mansa constituency after the end of the allowed duration of the election campaign. On 11 April 2022, Musewala released a song titled Scapegoat in which he laments his failure in the 2022 Punjab State Assembly elections. The Aam Admi Party claimed 
that Musewala through his song insinuated that the voters of Punjab were Gaddar for electing the AAP. Siddhu Musewala was shot dead on 29 May 2022 in Jawaharki village of Mansa district allegedly by the Lawrence Vishnui gang who claimed to be avenging the murder of an Akali leader Vicky Midukhera in 2021. A Canadian gangster of Punjabi origin, Satinder Singh alias Goldie Blar, also claimed responsibility for the murder and both the people, Vishnoi, were later confirmed to be involved by the Punjab police. Two suspected gangsters, Manpreet Manu and Jagroop Rupa, were later killed by the Punjab police in July 2022. Reportedly, the security was withdrawn post the Bhagwat Man government's exercise to crack down on VIP culture. After being shot, the singer turned politician was also rushed to a nearby hospital where he was declared dead. Gaurav Tura, who is a superintendent official from the Mansa district, further corroborated that the death of the 28 year old was due to the attack. The Lawrence Bisnoi gang claimed responsibility for the murder in an unverified Facebook post, but Bisnoi denied making it. He is being held by the Punjab police as of June 2022 and is considered the mastermind by the officials in the murder. Musewala's security was reduced or entirely removed the day before, leaving him with two commandos only, as compared to four earlier. At the time of the incident, he was traveling in his private car accompanied by two others instead of his bulletproof vehicle with the police commandos, as his car could not accommodate more people. Sidhu Musewala's latest song, Merana, has been released on his social media handles, managed by his family, ahead of his first death anniversary, which created a stir among 7 million youths in India. The song features Nigerian singer Burna Boy, who met Musewala's parents in the UK last year, doing rap, while Steel Bangles composed the music. The investigation into Sidhu's death revealed that the cartridges recovered from the scene were from an AK-47 rifle, a .30 board pistol and 4 or 5 9mm pistols. Over 25 bullet marks were found on Sidhu's vehicle and several more on the walls surrounding the area. As of now, the police have arrested 27 individuals including the 6 gunmen in connection with the murder. However, the investigation is still ongoing. This was a huge grief stricken news among all his fans. Morning processions were held and he was declared to be an everlasting legend who never dies and is always alive in people's hearts forever. What according to you can be the major reason for which the musical gem had to lose his life? Do you think this to be a consequence of the political dirt or any other angle associated with it? Let us know your thoughts and if you really like this video then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also hit the bell icon. Stay connected with us. Keep supporting guys.